what I got from that was step number one, if you're experiencing back pain or if you have a desk job to either prevent or to aid in your low back pain, one of the most important things is Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Just about any and everything you can think of, I messed up. Like knees, I've had two patellar dislocations, which is, Jeez. I'm actually dealing with rehabbing one right now from a fight. We'll dive into that we'll a little dive bit. dive into that. But I've had two patellar dislocations. I've had tearing in my quad. I've had Ooh. tearing in my hamstring, Ooh. vertebral fractures, sprained ankles. Ugh, it's just, soccer was not, not kind to my body. We need to put like hashtag injury prone on your arm or something. Yeah, yeah, no, I was I was definitely injury prone like coming up and I think there's a lot of factors that go into that, yeah. but which is crazy cuz it almost sounds like that PT job was almost like a calling. Yeah, so the way that I perceive it to be is that I had to go through all these injuries so that I could learn from each and every single one of them. And it's funny because most of the injuries that people have come to me with through this through this job that we do, I have already rehabbed for myself and I have experience with. So that's why, you know, a lot of my work up to this point has been rehabbing people. I've yeah. dealt with low back, knees, shoulders, elbows, ankles, like all of it. And I have experience with all of it just from it's crazy. just from the injury history of myself, you know. And, and that's one of the, the best things about the coaching experience and the journey is like, I feel like most coaches that get into the space, at least the good ones that I know and that I've worked with all come from a place of like, I want to prevent you from going to through, go through yeah. the same exactly shitty, yep. horrible, uh, you know, taunting experience I had to go through. So this is great and unique. And like Jake's my go-to like every time we i get a client or we tnt as a whole gets a client is like when we have someone that has lagging or nagging injuries or uh, knee pain hip pain ankle pain back pain oh, something that's just kind of bothering yeah. them it's like the most common stuff we see and when when we run across those people it's like okay jake's our go-to guy yeah so i love having you as someone on the team for, especially for that reason because um we have more value to add to the universe to add to our clients yeah. so um that's amazing man so just to kind of recap we went from high school a little bit before that you started lifting high yep. school you started the pt so how long did you do um the pt job yeah. for was that something you did for a long time was it just a short little yeah, bit yeah of... so shout out to body mechanics uh in simi valley there we go um that two years ish that i spent there during my undergrad was one of the most transformative experiences i've ever had in life uh, i will forever be grateful for the time spent in that office and the knowledge that uh, i was able to obtain and bring into my career with me um i think you know being there for as long as i was i was there for almost two years right and i worked with so many different people and there were so many different like injuries that would come across or like you know you had people coming in uh, like after car accidents and they were just debilitated and you could just see it That's like they crazy. were just they were just crushed you know like their whole life everything that they've ever known is you know like completely altered just from the accident one freak accident one, something yeah. so that being said like what what was like the most common reoccurring injury was it like a shoulder yeah. was it back or like because i know pt can be for like acute stuff so in terms of like so many different situations okay. and so many different cases did you see one that you're like man i keep seeing this over and over and yeah over. and it, it was definitely low back shoulder okay. knees. those were like the most common low back shoulders and knees. i would say low back i would say first and foremost number low one back. and and there was a common theme across the board with low back patients was uh sedentary lifestyle and being seated too much Okay, yeah. this is fun. We can kind of let's let's dive into that a little bit more because I feel like we'll, we'll get into this more as we get into like your training and like where you are now. But yeah. I think while we're here talking about low back and sedentary lifestyle, because I'm sure most of the people that we know, most of the people that will probably watch this, um, as you know, the podcast is a little bit newer. So, you yeah. know, uh, we're hopefully we get a couple decent views, you know, yeah. um, but ultimately, more importantly, I hope that at least one person watching this gets some value. And I feel like this could be for that person. And so when it comes to um, sitting a lot and 
having this low back pain, which again is super common. Yeah. What what a kind of approach would you take then and or now to aid in that low back pain or even prevent it from coming in the first place? There's so many different things. And yeah. There's so many things that give me like one to three. Yeah, I have my key I have elements. my like three. I have my three key pillars. Let's right? go. Let's go. Um so the first thing I always tell people when they come in and they have low back pain, I'm like, stop sitting so much. Like, <laughs> like it's gonna compress your spine. But I can't because my job. Yeah, you gotta get up and move around. Okay. You gotta take longer trips to the bathroom. You gotta get up more frequently. Stretch, walk. You can't. It's hard because I, you know, a lot of people it is their job. Like they're seated and they gotta work. But also at the same time, if you're sitting there nine to five all day every day, you're just you're just compressing your spine. You know, standing upright, and they sit. It doesn't help when they yeah when they're sitting, yep. which like, is a whole other set of issues yeah. on the on the For neck sure. mostly and the shoulders. But my three key pillars when people come in with low back pain, um, I, I think the the primary emphasis goes towards strengthening the core to work to stabilize the spine. Hundred percent, especially because most people have very underactive core muscles, and everybody thinks when they come in like core is your six pack abs like there's a common misconception surrounding that and it's so much more than that it's your glutes it's your abdomen it's your lats right so we try to get all those core or those large muscle groups engaged right mm -hmm. um and then you know usually um due to the fact that they're sitting so much their hips are extremely stiff right so um my go-to my bread and butter is like that banded uh banded hip mobilization mm -hmm. basically we just want to get the hips mobilized and you see me doing that with my clients all the time yeah. right so hip mobile what, what is that exercise called again banded hip mobilization i stole it from okay. squat university there we yeah, go that so, one. so if you want to look that up that's yeah a, doctor, I, I use that one a lot dr aaron horshig um okay. from squat university okay. and then there's also the Stuart miguel big three Okay. So I follow those too. Uh, but yeah, I mean, get the core active and engaged. That's going to take some of the tension off the spine immediately and work mm -hmm. to stabilize it. Mobilize those hips. That way, you know, if, if you're sitting all day and your hips are stiff, that's definitely not going to contribute to the well being of the spine. Absolutely. Um, and then lastly, it would be spinal decompression. So, okay. I mean, spinal decompression kind of comes as a result of those two things, but there's also specific ex exercises and movements that I have my clients go through to decompress the spine. Can you give me one of your favorites? Ooh, there's so many. Give me one. Yeah, um, I think one of my favorites would be just like a dead hang. Okay. Yeah, So dead hang or, or even- Feet yeah. up or hands? Upside down hang or-, or... Oh, no, 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 just, just hanging. Just hang, bar, just yeah. hang from the bar. Just hang from the I bar. Love that. Yeah, just hang from the okay. bar. So what I got from that was step number one, if you're experiencing back pain or if you have a desk job, to either prevent or to aid in your low back pain. One of the most important things is let's prevent more from happening by moving more. So more steps. Yep. Number two would be um, strengthening your core. Yep. And I think number three would be allowing for more movement in these joints. So by working on mobility, flexibility, so your hips yep. and your spine. So hanging, um, doing the hip mobilizations. I think that would be the best way to summarize that. Would you say yeah. that's pretty accurate? It's pretty okay, accurate. Cool. It's cool. pretty spot on.